In this lecture, we'll solve single blank based text completion questions. So in our earlier video, we have uh, completed five questions. Here we will do from sixth question onwards, right? The scientists did not employ dash methods. They only used information and methods that were able freely from scientific literature. Now, first of all, identify the keyword and then connector. Now, what is the keyword here? The scientists did not employ, did not employ dash methods. This whole clause, okay, this is a depend independent clause, and this whole clause forms one keyword. Okay, this is let it be our first keyword. So why I'm terming it as keyword is this whole clause will give you a certain meaning, right? Your keyword is nothing but a meaning. Now, this one is the connector here. The connector can be a word, a phrase, a clause or a sentence or even the punctuation can also act as a connector, right? Now, this is your connector. Now, they only used information and methods that were available freely from scientific literature. This whole clause is also a keyword, okay? This is your second keyword. Now. See here, you want to know what is your first keyword, you have a connector, you have second keyword. But then you know the meaning of the second keyword. Here it says that they only used information and methods that were available freely from scientific literature. Here you see they only used, right? So that means they are actually narrowing down, okay? They are actually restricting something. They are only using the information and methods that were available freely from scientific literature. So they were using only whichever things available, right? They are not using anything new. Now here this connector is a supporting connector, right? So this uh, semicolon indicates that whatever thing is conveyed in the previous clause, the same meaning that the same clause is extended further by providing certain examples or by providing certain information which corroborates the previous one, right? Now this must go along with this. So this connector says that this first keyword must go in line with the second keyword right second keyword now second keyword says they are using only certain information that means you can also say it as they are not using anything new so they are not using anything new is nothing but they are using only which is available right so second keyword says they are using only which is available the same thing can be paraphrased as they are not using anything new here because it is did not employ right so the scientist did not employ any new method right now let us look at our options here we have old so here if you see we need something new okay here it is old since it is opposite to cancel it hackneyed means something which is overused or tried okay hackneyed now novel is new so this can be the answer now vitriolic vitriolic means something which is acerbic right which is a uh, sharp tongued so vitriolic is acidic actually right now interesting is anyway out of context interesting vitriolic out of context this one is opposite opposite so your answer will be option c novel novel is which is new it is dash that some people and even some countries will be advantaged by the effects of global warming even if the overall global impact is vastly detrimental now first of all identify the keywords again now it is dash that some people and even some countries will be advantaged by the effects of global warming this whole thing forms one keyword okay this whole thing conveys some meaning so let it be keyword one now even if the overall global impact is vastly detrimental even if see here this is the connector this is a connector and then we have second keyword the overall global impact is vastly detrimental this is keyword 2 now your keyword 1 will depend on keyword 2 plus the connector right now keyword 2 says that the overall global impact is vastly detrimental that means a very negative term right very negative now the connector even if even if means it is a opposite connector so this it is negative here this is opposite here negative plus opposite will give you positive right positive word so that means uh, keyword one must give you a positive term now so what is the negative term here it is very detrimental right so uh, it says that 
the global impact is very detrimental and then you have a connector which acts opposite to this negative so here if you see it is dash that some people or even some and even some countries will be advantaged by the effects of global warming so they are actually getting benefited positive thing right now you need to know what is this word here now we are sure that there must be a positive term here right so let us go to options now see here unlikely if you put unlikely here it is unlikely this is a negative term unlikely is negative term whereas likely is positive term right you are actually looking for a positive term here so you can cancel this unlikely unthinkable is again a post negative term thinkable is a positive term unthinkable is a negative term now viable means something uh, which produces some results okay viable human means kind being kind this is uh, inappropriate here right out of context we are left with inevitable and viable viable means something which is capable of producing results right so uh, we can say this is the only viable option to escape this impediment right so that way we can use viable now viable is something which can produce result inevitable means that is definitely to happen okay so here we need actually word something related to likely to happen okay likely to happen so here inevitable will be the correct answer so again viable will be out of context here the question says the rich like most waters have dash views often supporting liberal and conservative positions simultaneously here the rich like most waters have views this whole thing forms one keyword keyword one because this gives out certain meaning now this comma is the connector connector and then often supporting liberal and conservative positions simultaneously this is a keyword two now this keyword one will depend on the keyword two and the connector here is a supporting connector right now the rich like most waters have dash views what kind of views we, they have we don't know that we will get that idea in the keyword two keyword two says often supporting liberal and conservative positions simultaneously this is the keyword here so if you dig deeper like if you go in a micro level this will be the uh, keyword two right now you so you you need a word which says that they are working simultaneously on two things right so we need a word which says that they are working simultaneously on two things so multiple we need multiple views right now look at the options to get a nearer meaning to this multiple ambidextrous means equally talented right ambi means uh, uh, if you are uh, skillful equally skillful with both hands you say ambidextrous now this will be uh, out of context why because it is nothing related to skillful being skillful positive use again we are looking for a word which is multiple so this is wrong narrow this is wrong finicky means if someone is finicky they are very particular and they are very particular to small details so people will get worried and upset easily even by missing out on small details right so they will be very particular so this is again out of context so you will have only option c eclectic eclectic means uh, uh, any ideas or uh, something some collection taken out from multiple sources so this will be eclectic means uh, collecting from multiple sources right so this is uh, uh, very much nearer to the meaning multiple right now britain has long been dash society this whole thing will be my keyword okay let it be keyword one I don't know what is the meaning this keyword one is conveying right so I will get that idea from the rest of the sentence here this and is the connector here connector so this is a supporting connector now whatever meaning this whole thing in recent years the gap between the rich and poor has grown even wider this whole clause is the keyword two right so what is the meaning this keyword two is conveying it is conveying that the recent years the gap between the rich and poor has grown wider the gap that means there is already a gap and that particular gap is getting wider okay so that means that here also you have a gap in the society right so with this in mind you look at the options now the option says an impartial here you need to have a gap society there is there should be a gap in the society or it should be like unequal so when there is an inequality in the society we have gaps right so an impartial will be exactly opposite of 
being unequal so this is wrong egalitarian means an egalitarian society is where everyone is equal right so even that is wrong deficient deficient is out of context here we are actually looking for something gap gap or unequal here if you see option e unequal is there so this will be the answer perspicacious means something which is very much clear to understand right very much clear to understand so here it is out of con context the question says the party's instinct born out of all those years of success is to tighten its grip so descendants or dash now if you notice here there is a comma here there is a comma here right and this phrase this phrase is actually you can ignore this phrase completely why so this phrase is just giving out extra information about the party's instinct that's it this phrase is actually describing this party's instinct so what you will do is just ignore this just ignore this and start reading only this one the party's instinct is to tighten its grip now it will be even clear to read it right so these kind of uh, phrases or clauses which are just acting as a supporters can be neglected even in rcs this technique will be very helpful right now the party's instinct is to tighten its grip this whole thing now you can read this thing what i'll do is i will strike out this i will just strike out this so you can read only this one the party's instinct is to tighten its grip okay this is one keyword from this keyword it is very clear that the party is very much looking forward to tighten its grip to tightening its grip right this is the meaning of the keyword one so is a connector this so is a supporting connector supporting connector so whatever meaning is conveyed in the keyword one the same meaning will be conveyed in the keyword two that means the same sense is carried forward now to tighten its grip what it is doing so the descendants descendants means the uh, people who are opposing to the party right who is opposing the party dissenters so those descendants descendants or what the party will normally do they will the party will crush them right now let us look at the options reverie means respected so opposite extol means prized so opposite cancel it harass the keep it aside exonerated means uh, free from blame okay this is irrelevant here congeal means to thicken right so even this is uh, out of context here right so here the only meaning is harassed so the party's instinct is to tighten its grip so it will normally harass that's how you will arrive at your answer harassed that's it i hope this is helpful please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notifications if you like the content of this video to support my work please do share this video among your friends and family members thank you